This even says naturally seedless. That's funny. Seedless lemons are the next big bet from the billionaires behind Halos, Palm Wonderful, and Fiji Water. Yeah, definitely trust these guys to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. So, the lemons I were looking at were wonderful seedless lemons. Naturally seedless, naturally delicious. Moving over to the LA Times, I'm going to slaughter the name Etienne Rabe, whatever. <laughs> Vice President of Horticulture for Wonderful Citrus in Delano, California, snapped up exclusive United States rights to two highly productive seedless lemon varieties, code 3X97 and 7ELS1. So if we go over to the index, we have 3X97, Australia, gamut radiation induced bud mutation of Eureka Lemon 1996. And then we have 7ELS1, again, gamma irradiation induced bud mutation of Eureka Lemon 1998. So gamma irradiation is exposure to ionizing radiation with gamma rays. It may also refer to the following processes, but ionizing radiation, including nuclear radiation, consists of subatomic particles or electromagnetic waves that have sufficient energy to ionize atoms or molecules by detaching electrons from them. Typical ionizing subatomic particles include alpha particles, beta particles, and neutrons. These are typically created by radioactive decay and almost all are energetic enough to ionize. Ionizing radiation is not immediately detectable by human senses, so instruments such as Geiger counters are used to detect and measure it. Exposure to ionizing radiation causes cell damage to living tissue and organ damage. In high acute doses, it will result in radiation burns and radiation sickness, and lower level doses over a protracted time can cause cancer. The International Commission on Radiological Protection issues guidance on ionizing radiation protection and the effects of dose uptake on human health. So let's go on a little journey. Lab created non-GMO fruit. Non, non-GMO, okay. <laughs> Reproduction is one of the properties we use to separate living from non-living things. When people suspect that seedless watermelon is genetically modified, they're probably channeling their high school biology class. It would be odd to see an organism in nature that evolved not to reproduce. Indeed, that hasn't happened in this case. Seedless watermelons exist because scientists treat the young plants they come from with a chemical called, and I'll probably slaughter this, but let's try colchicine. As NC State explains, this causes the eggs in the flowers to develop with two sets of chromosomes instead of one. When the eggs are pollinated, they cr create triploid cells. These cells are capable of maturing into fruit, but the seeds in that fruit are not genetically viable. Voila! Seedless watermelon. This technique is broadly known as mutagenesis, and it's given us a wide variety of foods that we consume without hesitation. The non-GMO project linked to an article that correctly explained the breeding process, though the author didn't mention the pivotal role colchicine plays in doubling the number of watermelon chromosomes. Alright, so this is watermelons. We'll move to lemons in a minute, but I just decided to look this up. So what do we see here? Colchicine is a highly toxic plant hormone that is used medically in the treatment of gout and in specific research. It stops the process of cell division. Exposure to colchicine can be fatal in very small doses. Emergency response. Chemical dangers. When heated to decomposition, colchicine emits toxic fumes of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen oxides. And then we have eye exposure, ingestion exposure, inhalation exposure, skin exposure, right? Things that can happen. Multiple system organ failure phase. Hypovolemic shock due to extreme vascular damage and fluid loss. Okay. GI, right? Nausea, loss of appetite. First aid. 
general information, antidote, eye, ingestion, inhalation, skin. Here's eye exposure, ingestion. I look charcoal, yuck. Inhalation. Okay, so this is what's getting sprayed on the watermelons. Now that's watermelons. In citrus specifically, there have been other modes developed to reduce seeding as well. Gibberellic acid enhances ovule abortion and copper sulfate has been shown to produce seed number in fruit. Most commercial seedless grapes are sprayed with gibberellin to increase the size of the fruit and also to make the fruit clusters less tightly packed. Alright, now this one is another one that I found two terms that you guys are going to love and I'm probably not going to say them, but I'll show you them. So with that, gibberellin... Plants in their normal state produce large amounts of GA3. It's possible to produce the hormone industrially used in microorganisms. Scroll a little bit further and look at where it says GA stimulates the cells of germinating seeds to produce molecules that code for hydrolytic enzymes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta love when that term pops up in your fruit and vegetables, right? But there's another one, actually. Here's another fun term that pops up. The project has put itself at odds with some of its most powerful allies in the anti-GMO movement. This is striking because mutagenized crops are indistinguishable from plants modified with new breeding techniques such as CRISPR has nine. Hmm. Man, these terms should not be popping up in our food products at all. So lastly, we're going to look at the Eureka lemon. Okay. The one that came from Australia that we read about. The article tried to claim it was natural. It just came over and we're just growing the plant they grew. Well, origin. Eureka SL is a seedless Eureka lemon developed from irradiation breeding in South Africa. Okay. Just because someone in an article says, oh yeah, it, it's seedless, it's natural, it's cool. Do your research. Most of the things that you find are seedless. Most of them are indeed some form of genetic modification with spraying of some sort of chemicals. Okay. Pay attention to what you eat. Do your research. Stop buying seedless crap. It's disgusting. It's not nature. God did not intend for that to be what we eat. Be fruitful and multiply. Genesis 1.12 And the earth brought forth grass, an herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good verse 29 and God said behold I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat 